to Ron Mixey now, who worked for Thomson Airways, who worked for Thomas Cook Airlines, and uh, communicated with their friends from those old airlines who were saying, we're coming in, we're doing your flights, we're not offering a BA service, we're offering our own, so people are paying BA fares and receiving a, a charter on board product. We've been told by the charter companies that it can cost a minimum £10,000 a sector to charter the airlines, aircraft and crew, so I would expect they'd be, they'd be spending millions to counteract our, our strike action. The vast majority of crew that have been on mixed seat for some time have come from other airlines. Those cabin crew from those airlines are earning a higher basic salary, a higher hourly rate. The reason that we left in the first place is BA claimed that we would be earning industry rate plus 10%. This is a fight about poverty pay. It's a very important fight that should have a much higher profile in the trade union and labour movement and it's something that links your struggle with the traffic wardens in Camden, whom I represented, who won something above the so-called London living wage through strike action. The school dinner ladies in Camden, who are actually being paid just above the national minimum wage due to a campaign that our branch waged in 2015, are now at least getting the London living wage. We'll be making a substantial donation of at least 200 pounds towards your fight. It is, I think, one of the most important happening in the country at the moment, and I'd like to see it very much linked to what some fellow Unison members are doing amongst teaching assistants in Derby and in County Durham, where they have been fighting back very courageously against swinging pay cuts of up to 25%. Make Smith united! Make Smith united! 92% is not just cabin crew, it's colleagues across all of British Airways, most of which, if not all of which, have significantly more of a basic salary than we do. For us it would work out roughly for a basic salary of £12,000 or £200 a year, and for our CSMs, um, who have no bargaining rights and on pay, um, they are getting a 6p uplift for the year. 6p! No way! 6p! No way! The fleet has existed for over six years now and CSMs have never been allowed to have bargaining rights so effectively we have never had a pay increase on our basic starting salary which means that a CSM that's starting now is going to be paid exactly the same as a CSM that started six years ago and this is completely unacceptable. The company are essentially saying that the management company council that they have, the MGNSP, which is for office managers, people that are working nine to five that are on a significantly higher salary than our own, that our bargaining rights are lumped into that company council and actually the reality is that the needs of flying senior cabin crew members who are also people managers are significantly different than office based 9 to 5 workers on a much higher salary. We have such a low salary and our hourly rates and our bonuses are supposed to subsidise the fact that it's so low but those aren't pensionable which means again we're going to suffer later on and it's just not fair. <laughs> We're using some of the money being donated to us to supply food and toiletries on the food bank so that crew don't feel pressured into spending money on food and things. They can use their money for petrol to get into work on non-strike days, things like that. So we're just alleviating the financial stress. We're just setting up for the long term and ensuring that everybody has the support around them that they need, especially from their union branch and their reps. BA are going to have to speak to each other um, before they start speaking to us <laughs> because obviously there's, there's, there's mixed messages going inside the company, going on inside the company. Uh, we are wanting to talk to them and wanting to sit down and negotiate a proper deal that is, is good for our members and, and giving them a pay rise that allows them to live um, would be ideal. If you persist you will win. Your cause is a very just cause and you have hundreds and thousands of people watching what happens with your dispute and it is very very important to win and you are the guys on the front line who are doing a, a fantastic job already and I know we'll continue to do so and all you need is the persistence and you will get there so well done everybody and thank you